Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Metroid Prime 2. Last time we left off, we successfully made it to Torvis Bog. Hi. And, uh, I looked on the main menu since last time to see, uh, if, um, the stuff that says, like, oh, this is now buyable was actually, like, concept art and stuff. It super was concept art. I looked. Like, the little... We get, like, what looks like Metroid coins whenever we get certain items in the games, and then we can use those to get, like, concept art and stuff, I believe. Structural analysis complete. Bridge currently not receiving power. Scan control post nearby to energize bridge. Okay. Hello. Structural analysis. Security gate connected to moving bridge operation. Activate bridge to open the gates. Alright. And then... The thing is, like, right here, but I don't think I can scan it through the wall. Maybe? Maybe. Unable to scan target. Local interference. Yep, yeah, okay. So, it won't let me scan it if something is in the way. Ooh, I was about to say, I see something down there. Can I? I guess I can, yeah. Why couldn't I? Why scan complete? This is a common strain of venom weed. Poisonous plant retracts into the ground if threatened. Thrives in any warm environment. Hello, little friends. Walking around. So, what all is in here? Hello, little buddies. They seem friendly. Okay, and this is a... This is a dark door, right? Yeah. Hello. Let me in, let me in. Look at them, they're so cute! Look at the little buddies. Oh, they're adorable. I love them. Now, I mean, they hurt me a little bit, but, you know. They're still cute, though. <laughs> We're rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh. I thought I heard of something. That's a... Cyan, I believe. Uh, projector. Uh, get me up there, please. Thank you. I really, really like the music here. It's quite nice. Really love it. Ooh. Hi. Um, okay, we're gonna need to add that to Z notes. Uh, Path of Roots. Let's pull up, uh, Path of, uh, or this. Let's see. <coughs> So this is Torvis, Light, Path of Roots. Okay. I have marks that there's a little something something there. It looks like we might need a... Ah, grapple. Grapple needed. Object scan complete. Analysis indicates a viable attachment point for the grapple beam. Module missing. Unable to access grapple point. Yep. So we need a grapple for that. I guess I'll add that to uh, the list there. Grapple. All right. Nice. So... Hello. Um, structural analysis complete. Bridge is composed of a number of unknown alloys. Despite evidence of numerous assaults, the bridge remains intact. By conventional terms, this structure is indestructible. What the... There you are. Shrieker. A cousin to the Shredder, the Shrieker waits for prey half buried in the earth. When it detects a target, it erupts from the ground and takes flight. Releases a sonic blast to stun its target, then sweeps in to feast. Shriekers can generate a stealth field that disrupts most visors, making them difficult to attack. So that's all the flying critters? That's interesting. Ooh. You deflected my rocket. That's... odd. Go away. Bad Shriekers. Trying to murder me. Yeah, God, I love the music here in Torvis Bog. It's very nice. Ow! You're shooting me. You. I swear I hear a thingy over here. Uh, might be up there. Might just be up there. Okay, there's a door. There's a light door over here. What are you? Sentinel Crystal. During the war, the Luminoth used the Sentinel Crystals to monitor key areas and installations. They are incredibly durable, resisting all but the most pro powerful of Ying attacks. Yumoth still uses the remaining Sentinel Crystals to keep a watch on for Ying activity. I see. Cool. 
All right, so still can't do that one. We'll probably get the language upgrade we need for that from this area. I have to imagine. What is that? Structural analysis complete. Block is composed of dinsium. The local creatures have weakened it, along with time and erosion. Okay, so that is Great Bridge. Um, Corvus, Light, Great Bridge, Dinsium. Alright. Good, good. Off we go. And what am I doing? Ooh, E-Tank. How do you get to E-Tank, though? That is the question. Huh. Maybe I should add that to my list? I mean, it's an E-Tank, so it definitely needs to be added to the list. Temple access. Gosh. Um... Uh, Torvus... Once again, light, temple, access, E-Tank. Okay. I mean, I don't suppose I can get that right now. It looks like if I come from up above, maybe that's how we get to that? Uh, okay. This is one I'm not getting into. Yeah. Alright. So that's not possible right now. I might be erasing that E-Tank thing very quickly. All I need to do is get up there, I believe, to access it. What are you? Oh, oh, well, it's them. Okay, never mind. I'm out of here then. Bye bye. Ooh, there's a portal in here. Bob. And there's our portal. Hello. Okay, and there's a missile in there, too. Well, we have to come out of the portal to get it. So, portal chamber? I'm guessing there's a corresponding one in the dark world, and that's how I get to that. Um, Corvus, light, portal chamber. Take portal from dark world, I believe is how we get that. Okay, uh, how are we doing? Bridge system online, raising to preset position. Control override in effect, bridge lockdown to occur once movement is complete. Yay, I have a bridge. Beautiful. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna scan the bridge, I'm, you can't stop me. Uh, bridge locked in current position, yeah, okay. Sorry, it was blue, I had to. Well, I mean, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. Alright, so... None of this, please. Ah, get away. It seems like fast shooting them at least, like, pushes them back. So you can kind of keep them away long enough. Okay, let's see. Anything useful in either of you? Doesn't look like it. Oh, energy. I will take some energy and some and some missiles. Sure. Nothing else in here it looks like. So we just continue Zis away. Hi. Oh yeah, you look like a friend. Look at you, little critter. Uh okay. A Grinchler? <laughs> it's a funny name. The Amphibious Grinchler lurks in marsh areas in search of prey. Fearless, it will spring from hiding and attack anything that moves. If it is unable to fell its prey with its powerful jaws, it will fire a potent burst of energy. Grinchlers have one weak spot. A genetic defect makes the shell on their back susceptible to explosion, explosive blasts. Remove the shell to expose a vulnerable nerve center, then target it to eliminate the creature. Okay, so... Explosives. Okay, I see the spot. Oh god, I got stuck on, like, the tr that thing there. Thing? Uh-huh. Yeah, you didn't like that too much, did you? 
Uh, that would have been a good opportunity to hit the other one. So. Okay, can't get a second shot. Ah. Uh, that back is annoying to hit sometimes. There we go. There we are. Okay, now let's switch to, like, dark. And I'm gonna try doing that. There we go. Okay. Now, um... Bang. 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 Wow, you're making this really, really easy for me because you kept doing your melee attack. There we go. Kablooey? There we go. Yeah, it specifically entangling them so I can just kind of shoot them made that a lot easier. Alright, what is this? Bloat sack. The humble bloat sack contributes to its ecology by producing large amounts of benevolent gases. It thrives in damp environments. Though it can survive in most climates and terrains, the bloat sack secretes a venomous sap over its body. Very few creatures can ingest the sap and survive, making it a useful defense mechanism for the plant. Okay. Can I destroy them? Nope. Okay, they're they're invincible. Except to maybe missiles or something. Structural analysis complete. Powered bridge is online, yet its control system is missing from area. Unable to move bridge. Okay, and then there's a... There's a missile up there. Uh, oh, okay. Dimensional flux, so we need to go over there to do this. Okay. Well... Conveniently, I can immediately go into the dark world from right here and uh, fix that problem. So I think I want to turn it to the missile expansion first. Assuming it does go over there. I'm thinking it will. Alright, scan you. Analysis complete. Unit is a moving bridge. Is capable of receiving commands that need power. Yep. What are you? A new research entry has been added. The Ing Sphere keeps useful items in a dimensional pocket. Normally, the Ing Sphere will only release the item to its Ing Masters. The pocket can be breached by destroying the Ing Sphere. However, this sometimes destroys the item, but it can be worth the risk. Okay, and you. These are evil eyeballs. The original Sentinel Crystals were durable, but they had their limits. The toxic nature of Dark Aether, coupled with constant attacks from the Ying, destroyed many of them. The Luminoth responded with a Dark Sentinel Crystal, sheathed in Dark Energy. It is more resistant to the atmosphere of the Ying homeworld and the attacks of its innocents. Ah, so you can still spy over here. That's nice. Okay. Well, let me uh, get in this bomb slot here. And pop myself up. And hit you. So, that is going to take me right to da. But, if I do it one more time... No? Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Huh. Okay, I thought it would have just let me spin it again. But it certainly did not. I can get up there, though, with these mushrooms. So never mind, we're still totally fine. Uh, take me back. Cool, cool. I like how, like, the thing with the, the thing with Aegon was like, it felt like a lot of the times when we entered the Dark World, we were kind of in the Dark World for a long period of time. Here's a little bit different, though. Oh. Hi. Um, here's a little bit different, though, because, um... Are you good? What's going on with them? Uh, here's a little bit different, though, because, uh-oh. Uh they're using cloaking. Yes, they are. I can't even scan them. Not right now. Huh. Yeah, like, won't let me scan them in the scan visor. What are you dorks doing? That is unfortunate. I would really love to scan them right now, but whatever. 
Oh, I do have to actually win the fight. Missile expansion acquired. Yeah, I don't- I'm guessing it just won't let me scan them because they're, like, popping in and out, basically. Oh, there it goes. That time it's working. There we go. I wasn't close enough, I guess. Dark Pirate Commando. The Ying prize the few Space Pirate Commandos they managed to take alive. Only Hunter Ying are allowed to possess the Commandos, and the competition for that ride is fierce among them. The Hunter Ying ability to phase out of local time space carries over to the local- to the Dark Pirate Commando. They will fire bursts of dark matter at enemies along with experimental EMP grenades stolen from the Space Pirates. Okay, so now we just win. Uh, there we go. Should be using my light beam. Uh-oh. This is not a good scenario I found myself in. Wait, did they leave? Huh? They leave? Oh my god, they left. Maybe they didn't want their prized space pirate to die? They did say that they prized them. So maybe they didn't- maybe they saw that they were- that was a fight they were losing, so they just left. Huh. Big if true. What are you? A new creature, a sporb! The hanging sporb sits patiently until a potential meal is detected. A burst of poison needles is the sporb's primarily means of attack. It is all- it can also extend its body over short distances, gripping small targets within its powerful jaws. Might be... For, for gripping me in morph ball mode. There's another missile expansion here in the abandoned work site. So let me add that. Torvis, light, abandoned work site. Okay. Good stuff. So that has been noted. Is there any reason to go down here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, so that thing's probably gonna grab me when I'm in morph ball mode. Or try to, at least. Yep, there it goes. Nope, you missed. Oh god, I rolled out! I didn't, I didn't think it would let me. A lot of times when I'm in the morph ball things, it won't let me just roll out, but that time it did. These don't have guardrails. These are not Luminoth OSHA approved. Boom. Boom. Boom, I say. I say boom! Can I not make that jump right now? Don't munch me. Huh. Can I not make that jump right now? I feel like I should be able to. But maybe not. Let's ignore it for now. Because we have other places we can go anyway. So I'm going to ignore it for the moment because we have two other doors I can also enter. Over here. Oh wait, no, that's too high up. So maybe back to the dark world now? Let's see. There was a door I could take in the dark world, yes. Oh wait, no, there's not. Never mind, because I need to be higher up. Yeah. Okay, so those doors are... Where exactly are they? They're like really high up there. All the way up there, I think. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I do need to go that way. And this way just links back over there. So yeah, it's gotta be this way. I guess this just links me back to this place, but... Still useful, I suppose. Yeah, because I, I just- I can't get up there right now, I don't believe. Let me make sure. From here, I can't jump from there to there. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I also can't get back over there right now unless I turn the thing. And I can't turn the thing without going back over there. Because the mushrooms aren't high in Light World. Okay, let me try this again. Maybe I was just like missing this jump weirdly. I don't know how. Oh my god. This is hard. Because I'm trying to avoid that thing while also trying to like platform where I need to be. Oh my god. Stop you little bastard. Can I kill you? 
I didn't even think about that, but yes. <laughs> For some reason in my head, I thought that they that it would be invincible. I'm a fool. I was like, oh yeah, this feels like one of those trap enemies that's just not gonna go anywhere. There we go, my god. <laughs> I was just like, oh yeah, we probably won't be able to kill that thing. No, we super can, you doofus. Alright. <clears throat> I didn't say anything about them being invincible. Uh, here's another one. I have to actually get it to come out, though. I think, right? Yeah, it's not out yet. So I do have to actually lure it out. Then I can get it. Might be getting this missile expansion, like, right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall so maybe that's why it lets you do that you gotta wait until it does that to get um access to it and then you can fall out and kill it pretty easily okay up 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 whoop. And down. Alright, so that's how we just get back over here. But I guess there's not a good way to get up there. Huh. If I could like jump from there, we would be able to do it, but. Yeah, I don't actually see a good way to pull that off. Oh, grapple point. Okay, so I need the grapple. Gonna have to remember to look up for those. Alright. Um. Alright. Uh, you. Scan. Ah, one of the launch points. Which will get me up there. Okay, anything else I need to do here? I can hear the thing behind that. Whoops. Not meaning to do that. They can just be killed in one little shot. Kind of just don't want to take the damage from them. Okay. That's most of them gone. Ah! Ah! Forgot about all you jerks. Don't mind me, don't mind me. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in here. You can't get me. There we go. Whew. Is this something I can destroy? Wait, is this the other piece of Denzium? There's two. Two pieces of Denzium. Okay. Where's this, uh, Denzium? Two of them. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, leave me alone. I've got things to do, and you're not one of them. Hello? It's so a statue of a Luminoth warrior. Age and combat have caused structure damage to the statue, but it is not in danger of falling apart anytime soon. Structural analysis complete. Block is composed of Talark alloy. Erosion has weakened it. Okay, so we can destroy these. Oh. Oh, it just wants me to fall in here? Ooh, that's how I get the E-Tank! Okay, that's that E-Tank, so... Yeah, I thought if we could just get up there, it would give us the E-Tank. The E-Tanks are usually pretty easy to get, since it is such a... You know, an important upgrade for Samus. They usually don't hide those as rudely. So... Back up to you. It's basically a full heal for me as well. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, no. How about no? No. Alright, you got- you got one lick in. Oops. Alright, so don't fall down that hole. <coughs> Not this time. Alright. Appear to be good. Uh... Yeah, I was about to say. I was trying to see if I could examine that thing. Bye-bye. 
Oh. Uh-huh. Dang. Uh... Kablooey? Can I scan the Space Pirate Pelican? I guess... I, I, yeah, that one was already scanned, I suppose. Uh-oh. Swap to you. Uh -huh. Dead. Goodness. Annoying, get you. Is that super missile? Is that super missile? Just like that? I didn't even have to like defeat an enemy and absorb the ability? Maybe. Quite handy if so. Let's see what it says. Super missile! Yay! Alrighty, nice. There's also a scan here. I wish I could scan. Am I able to activate it? Yep, need a translator. Okay. Big super missile time. Super missile acquired. This powerful attack uses five missiles. Using the power beam, uh, press and hold A to charge, then press down to fire. Additional data downloaded. Oh, do you not just? Oh no, that that does work too. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's look at our. Or maybe that's what I have Y set to. Do I have Y set to down on the D? That would be weird. I mean, this configuration was basically auto given to me by, um, like it was recommended by Prime Hack, basically. So that's the layout that I'm using. Missile systems, missile launcher. Not, not that apparently. Uh, charge combo. There we go. It would be the super missile charge combo because it is a charge combo. The power charge combo. Each super missile costs five missiles. Wow. Thanks, Samus. That's all you have to say? Super missiles break something, right? Don't they? Did I? I, I might have just just skimmed right, right 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 over that. One second. Um, not that. The power charge combo calls five missiles. I thought they destroyed something. Did they not destroy something? I could have sworn they destroyed something like. Denzium may have been power bombs, but I thought super missiles destroyed something. I mean, they'll destroy these doors, of course, but I thought they destroyed like some sort of material as well. Oh well, wh whatever. At least we can get through these now. Beautiful. Ah, and this is gonna this this is where our uh, our like sanctuary thing is. I must have missed the uh, save for this area somewhere around here. Unfortunate. But this is where we're gonna meet uh, our friend, and they're gonna be like, "Hey, this is also where we get our translator." Yes, yes, yes. Life scan complete. Subject Luminoth has been dead for 1.2 deca cycles. In addition to heavy combat damage, subject shows signs of numerous ink possession attempts. All failed. Resisting these assaults will require incredible stamina and psychic durability. Nothing else in here. Not not even hiding up above or anything. Nope. Okay. Luminoth Hollow Projector Online. Automated message initiated. Hey friend. Great warrior comes to the Temple of Torvis. May you succeed where I failed. I am Avok, the last sentinel of this temple. Heed my words carefully. As you can see, the temple has been crippled by the ravages of war. While the main chamber has been mostly preserved, the remainder of the temple has been flooded. You must use your abilities to venture into these flooded areas and find the keys you need to enter the Dark Temple. The waters of Dark Aether are foul and venomous. Avoid them if you can. 
I've updated your translator module. You can now access devices and doors coded with emerald holograms. Search the areas now open to you. The Ing will seek your light with great zeal. Do not underestimate them. I won't, friend. Thank you. The time for talk is over. Good hunting. You may light and may the light of Aether guide your aim. Energy fully replenished. No save though. We still gotta find our save. World Wart. Amidst this turmoil, we discovered many disturbing anomalies. Spatial disturbances appeared across the land. Objects went into a state of dimensional flux, their atoms divided between Aether and somewhere else. There was little time to ponder these strange happenings, for we had to deal with the devastation of our lands. Okay. Alright. Let's leave. I thought it for a second I heard like a power power up sound, but maybe not. We Phew. We're doing it. Now I just gotta find that save, like I mentioned. Like I said, it could be a door I just walk past. Usually the saves are just like a simple door you get into. I might have just not walked through that one. Okay, we can read that now. Ooh, we do actually take fall damage. Um, yeah, so we don't need to go there. We need to specifically go lower, which is why this exists. Elevator system engaged. Bye bye, you little jerks. Saw you. Okay. What about you? Security clearance approved. They're vigilant. Through vigilance and strength, we create peace. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So there's a few different doors here. First, though, I want to go over here, and I hope that this is my, uh... Is this just a shortcut? Oh, this is just this. Um, if we look at the map, is there like a simple door somewhere around here? There, there's that translator door that might have what I want. I guess there's my save station. Did I save earlier and I just forgot? <laughs> might have, oh wait, no, that's probably where we. Yeah, no, that's where we started the episode from. So that's that's why I don't recall it. I mean, I could run back over there right now. Yeah, that's why that's why I don't recall it. I want I want another one though. Like that one's that one's way back here. I guess we could hit this door and then see what's in here. Security clearance approved. Thank you. What in the Oh the map. Yeah, that's good to get. Thank you. Yeah, now we can go hit up the save point, since it's right over there, I guess. Would have been nice to get one a little bit further into the area, but... Alright. Yeah, we can see that there's some stuff that goes down there. There's more stuff over here to do. There's more stuff over here to do. There's, of course, portals. Yeah, we got a, we got a few things to, to frolic around with. But uh, I'm going to head back to the save point. Um, if anything interesting happens, I'll show that, but it's going to be a pretty short walk, so. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll scan this. This was here. Dark Aether. In time, we created machines to open rifts to our enemy's world. Volunteer scouts went through the rifts and found a twisted world, harsh and poisonous. A Dark Aether. They discovered that this world held the missing half of our planet's energy. They also saw the true face of the enemy, a race we came to call Ing, meaning terror. Our scouts could not survive long in the service of Dark Aether, so venomous was its air. Still, we vowed to return. We prepared for war. Um, still can't get to you, but I should be able to get back to my save point fairly easily here. Excuse me, friends. I don't want to hurt you. Wait, those things can swim? Uh-oh. Here I was saying I was going to end the episode. Now look at me. Hey, I didn't realize they could swim. Go go away, please. Go away. I'm not I'm not physically or emotionally prepared for this. Leave me be. Out of here. Oof. All right. Save time. So, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for some more.